welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another wig review for you guys on the brand called Uni Wigs. Now I've done a review on them before and it was, everyone loved it so I couldn't wait to do another review on this channel for them. I decided to go for a completely different style which is this beautiful two-toned gray it kind of has like purple hues in it wig and I love the style it's very uh, medium length I that's what I always look for in a wig so I couldn't wait and I can't wait to give you guys my honest opinions on this wig I've already worn it um, and I took some pictures in it so I can tell you what worked for me and everything so if you guys are interested in this review then just continue watching Okay, so like I said, this wig right here is from the company called Uni Wigs. They're very known, especially on Instagram and on other social media platforms, and they're known for their amazing, colorful wigs, and they do have a lot of natural wigs on their site. I did review a natural wig on their website actually not too long ago, so that's why I said I wanted to go for a different type of color right here, and this is their newest edition. One of the first things I'm going to do is talk about the color. Now, it's this really beautiful gray with a couple of tones in it. There's, it's an ombre at the top, so there's a brown at the top, and then there's a gray and lavender mixture in there, making this really beautiful and unique color. When wigs are gray, they have a, a kind of uh, synthetic shine. Now I did notice with one of the reviews before, they do have quite a synthetic shine, but it doesn't really bother me too much. It's not bad, but it's it's not fake looking and it's not bad. That's what how I feel about the shine on this wig. It's very minimal. It's not too noticeable. I did take pictures outside with this wig. The length itself is absolutely amazing. I love wigs this length because they're super easy to style. They don't tangle easy at all. And you're able to just freely run your fingers through them without it getting caught. This, the length is very ideal. I wore a crop top so you can see where it ends. It ends about right here on my chest. And when I turn around, it's very cute and medium. But consider this a short medium wig. Now before we get to the fun part, which is how does this wig style, can you put it in various styles and whatnot, I wanted to talk about the cap size and how many hooks that it has. So this wig right here, I can show you in this clip right here, it has four, it has four clips, wefts. So there's one here at the top on the sides of my head and on the bottom, which is maximum security, which means this wig will not fall off. And then there's also an adjustable strap so you can make it fit to your head a bit. Now I do find this wig quite big for my head size even with the adjustable strap. Like I have, I bought some wig glue and I ha I'm trying to keep it to stay a little bit but I'm having trouble just because this wig is fairly big for my head shape. I do kind of have a small head so that's why but I feel like if I get some really strong wig glue, I didn't really get actual wig glue. All I have is this like glue that you can put on and this is supposed to help a lace front wig stick a little bit. I've seen that in a couple of videos but it, I don't know if it's just not working for me but the wig isn't sticking to it so it definitely is a little bit bigger for my head. Now I'm going to show you guys the hairline. This is the hairline. I cut the lace already. This is the part where it's kind of trying to rise up. Well since I'm pushing it down on this side now it's trying to come up on this side. If I go like this you can see it wanting to come off a bit but like I said with proper glue then that should be able to stick. The hairline is very natural and when you open up you can't really see the tracks so it is a pretty good when it comes to that. Uh, there is no like skin cap or anything so you might want an eye concealer if you're trying to fool someone with this being your real hair. This is only going to be used for cosplay purposes so I don't need to do that. So now the fun part which is styling this wig. So when I took pictures the other day I kind of did this really fun braid. So I want to show you guys how this wig braids. I love shorter wigs because they can braid and that's one of the funnest things to do with a wig and it's definitely very natural so if you want to wear it out it kind of you know like gets rid of that slight insecurity that you have on with wanting to wear a wig out because I know that I used to have that problem like I was always worried that people was thinking I was wearing a wig but at the same time like I've just learned to think like 
it doesn't matter if you want to wear a wig out if not if it looks like a wig like I don't care anymore but putting them in styles can really help break that fear I have noticed that this is the other day and absolutely loved it I went and took pictures outside it's out it's so photogenic this wig is very photogenic and I really love that sometimes I have a wig and it just doesn't sit on your head properly and it just doesn't want to photograph really good okay so now that I showed you that braid I kind of wanted to show you another thing that I did a bit bigger for my head but I think that with a gray wig I always think like a top knot at the top or like a bun looks really cute with this hair color so I'm going to show you so this wig right here loves to style and it molds to the style that you want so this cute like bun right here I love this hair color with a bun you could just pull out make your own baby hairs with it pluck the top if you want and so it looks more natural so that looks adorable. I love making top knots or buns like this with this grayish color. It just rocks. It looks so cool. Something else I like to do is obviously always the half up, half down hairstyle. I always like to see if wigs pass this test. And they usually do. But this is how that looks. I think it looks really cute. If you're a brunette, you could just have your hair right here is harder for me because I have really red hair so I always have to make sure everything is covered but you can always pull your natural baby hairs out just so it can really blend in and look like your real hair so I kind of wanted to see how it looked like if I parted it in the middle it's not really my thing to part wigs down the middle I just feel like I don't look good but that's how this wig looks like parted down the middle you can straighten it too if you want so doing that just gives you that cool, fun, like um, editorial type of look when you flip it over to this side. Very uh, photogenic, I would say. Alright you guys, well I think I covered all the basic points to this wig right here. I absolutely fell in love with it. I think that it's going to come in handy for a lot of fun looks that I have coming up on this channel. So if you guys are interested, I can leave you a coupon code right here and this coupon code is Nicole15 and that's going to give you 15% off on their website and you don't have so if you're interested in this wig I'll leave it down below but any other one you can use that coupon code and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this wig review and I will see you in the next one bye